Hi, it's Pamela. Today I'm going to share a few ideas on how to create a Classroom Rules whiteboard video. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. It's back to school time, and you know what that means, right? It's time to make some Classroom Rules to share with your students. Your kids will enjoy it because it's not too long, and for you as a teacher, it's not necessarily an overwhelming task, thanks to Doodly. This video works great if you're teaching students remotely, although the rules that you have will be a little different for a remote environment. In addition, you can take screenshots of your finished scenes to use as handouts or make a larger poster for your classroom. You'll see here, just for my opening sequence, I have a green chalkboard and just an image of a school. We're gonna get rid of all of this and we'll start from scratch and go from there. Now, if you want this chalkboard effect, let me show you how you get it. You go over here to settings and over here in background style, your default is the whiteboard. Well, I just went over and I selected the green chalkboard. You can also use a black chalkboard if you'd like. So I'll use that one for our video. Click apply. And now all we're gonna do is create, you know, really just a simple bullet list. We're not gonna get fancy on this one, okay? Now for my video, I would like a font that has, you know, kind of a chalkboard effect. Like this one. This is called I Am Fell English and I got it on Google Docs. I'm going to start my video just with your standard, you know, welcome to my classroom type message. You know, just this is just exactly what kids would see if they walked into your classroom for the first time. So I'm going to say, welcome to, we'll say fifth grade. And then we will do the second one and let's call it Mrs. Dimmick's class. And let's go ahead and change one of the colors. Click your gear icon, do the color. And I like the yellow on the chalkboard. Yellow and white are my two favorite colors for the chalkboard videos. I'm gonna make them draw a little longer than the default, just to make it, slow it down just a little bit. And that's scene one, okay? I told you, this one's gonna be super basic. And then we're just gonna go in and build our bullet list with our classroom rules. Let me make that all caps. Okay, so I have my rules, they're just messy. You notice I just put them out there. I didn't worry about lining them up or doing anything while I was writing them. And one reason why I like to just get the bullet list written down is because then I can select them all together by clicking the control button or command and then clicking each item. And now I can resize them and they'll all resize together and they'll be the same size. I think that's probably going to be about right by the time I move them around. So now, now that I have them sized, I can start moving them into the space. Now this one's too long. It's going to need to be a word wrap. So I'm going to go here and click word wrap and then See if I can get it on two lines where it looks good. I don't want it this long, so I'm gonna edit it so it can all fit on one line. We'll go a little larger. Okay, so now I have each one in the proper order. And that's all looking great. Now I'm going to add some little check marks. So let's go over to props, type in check, and you see we have a couple different check marks we can use. Let's use this one. And 
you notice over here it's black and over here it's black so it's not showing up very well on my blackboard so if you go up here to the little gear icon go over here to invert and that should turn it white and it did and now we have a little check mark we can draw on let's look at the timing it's three seconds long to draw that check mark on i feel that's too long i'm going to change it to one second that even may be too long and let's do just a quick preview to see how that's coming along The check mark's probably fine. I do want the check mark to come after it says turn off cell phones. And I'm gonna want a little pause. You know, the kids are not gonna wanna just read this in you know five seconds. They, they need to absorb it a little, okay? So let's give them a second and a half after we say turn off cell phones and then it's gonna go check, okay? And then it's gonna say, do not disrupt others. Pause. Check. Respect yourself. Blah, blah, blah. Then another pause and then check. Okay, so what we need to do now is duplicate this. So select the check mark. Control C or Command C, depending on your operating system. And then same Control C or Command V to paste. And there it is right there. And we just move it down. And then you'll see over here, it's at the bottom, it's got the same delay and same duration, which is perfect. But we want it to appear after the words are written. We're gonna do the same thing, Control V, to paste in this next one. And then let's add some time at the end so this just stays on the screen for a little while. I'm going to add 30 seconds. Yes, 30 seconds. Because I imagine as the teacher goes over these rules, the video is playing, bump, 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 and then she's just going to want it on the background for a little while as she addresses the class. She's like, okay, kids, these are the rules. Does anybody have any questions about them? And blah, 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 blah. So that's why I'm going with the full 30 seconds. You might even want to go longer. And finally, let's just put a little soundtrack in the background. So you go over to your sounds tab and you find some music. Now this song here, I like a lot and it's two minutes long. It's okay, we're gonna fade it out, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into place. I'm going to cut the beginning here. I'm going to trim it up just a bit and then slide this over so that it starts right away. And then I'm going to go over to the end and I'm going to trim it all the way down so that it ends with my video. And then I don't want it just to abruptly end, I want it to fade out. So I right click, I choose fade out. You'll see this is a one second fade. I prefer a longer fade. So you just stretch the triangle out. And that should be it. Let's take a quick look and we'll find out. Okay, I want to change this. I'm going to have Mrs. Dimmick's class be the first thing they see. And then I want a little bit of a pause. And then it'll come in and say, welcome to fifth grade. And then I want them to be able to absorb that. So I'm going to add some time at the end over here, extra time at the end. And we're going to go just two and a half seconds. It's long enough for them to go, okay, welcome to fifth grade, yay. And now that has changed the ending. So I want to stretch out 
my music to match, okay? Now we should be done. Let's go ahead and hit preview. Okay, and that's going to go on for the 30 seconds, so we don't need to watch it for the whole remaining 30 seconds. And that is the basics of creating a classroom rules video in Doodly. Thanks for watching.